God has been good to us. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Tonight we're coming out of the book of Luke, uh, the 10th chapter. The book of Luke, the 10th chapter. Uh, we've talked this many times, but we're going to go back over it on tonight. And we use, uh, we use as a subject on tonight, uh, you are blessed to see the miracles of God. Amen. You are blessed to see the miracles of God. Uh, oftentimes God do miracles and do things in our lives that we, uh, oftentimes we see it, but we don't, we don't acknowledge it. Um, the very, the very uh, thing of getting up in the morning time and yawning, you know, God didn't have to let you rise to see another yeah, sun, another sunrise. But God, uh, that's a miracle in your life. When somebody did get up. Um, the, the very fact you might have had food in your house, uh, you might not have what you what you wanted, but you had what you needed. Amen. You, you get on through the day, and so that's that's a miracle to me uh, that God can provide for the animals, and He also provides for us on a day to day basis. Um, in chapter uh, ten of, of Luke uh, in the New Testament Bible, uh, it, 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 it records that Jesus sent seventy disciples. Disciples by Jesus uh, out to a town. Uh, he also uh, talked about the, the the Good Samaritan in this chapter. He's also in this in this lesson. He also um, visited the, the house of Mary and Martha. Uh, we we sometimes uh, don't acknowledge the fact that Jesus, uh, you know. What do you need to have in church if Jesus don't show up? Y'all ever thought about it? Yeah. Just, what's the need of just going through the motions if your mind ain't set on Jesus? Amen. Amen. What he had done for us mm -hmm. or, um, or how he has, has helped us through the years to get to this very point that we all are individually at. Um, because I guarantee you, Everybody under the sound of my voice at one time or another in your life, you won't both be here. Amen. You know, I don't care if it was a car wreck, <laughs> sickness, somebody was fighting and shooting, or, or something. It's somehow or another, if you really think about it, there were seasons in your life to where you supposed to have been gone. Amen. But God worked a miracle Amen. to Amen. allow you to be here. And we ought to be thankful for it because yes. Jesus showed up when we didn't know nothing about him half the time. Amen. That time we weren't even thinking about him. Amen. That time we won't follow him. No. We knew what church was, but church uh, won't end up. Amen. <laughs> but 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 we have to give thought that uh, we're blessed just to see those blessings. Yeah. And sometimes I give account, I sit around and I, I think about and I watch. Even even when we're having our anniversary services. I sat and watched all the folks coming in, and, and the choir was singing good, and the preachers first Sunday, and the morning service preached good, and the choir was singing good. Then in the second service, everybody seemed like they were having a high time in the Lord, and, and then I, I, it, it hit me. They were y'all were celebrating us. <laughs> we, were still uh, God. we were seeing the blessing uh -huh. mm -hmm. and the miracles of God because we won't go to be here. Mm -hmm. If it was man standing up, I'll, even I was thinking we weren't supposed to be here. Uh, 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 if it was the devil thinking, we sure wouldn't be here. Because uh, mm -hmm. so, I know some number of times that I supposed to have been gone about it here. Uh, it, it, it just uh, makes us sit and think about when we read about Jesus uh, sending his disciples out, as we're going to learn tonight, and, and going by and visiting and, and giving parables uh, about the good Samaritans. And, and we think about what he's doing, what he did over 2,000 years ago. And people wrote um, scriptures and wrote canons about what he had done. And the king got together, put everything together, which we call the King James Bible. Some don't like King James. You know, I, I, that don't even matter what he done in his life uh, uh, other than what he did for this Bible. But I don't know nothing else. Yeah, I don't want to know nothing. I know some other stuff about him, but I don't know too much stuff that he had done other than when he put this together. And some people say, well, he put it together to control the folks, to control the, 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 the world population of, of during his time. But when I think about 
how the Bible was written, and all of what they call the 66 books, or how many books are supposed to be in there, letters, or whatever it is. When, it, when I think about it, all that was written that led up to Christ, led up to his death, and it imprinted on me to where he did everything for me. Mm -hmm. I take it personal. Amen. Y'all ought to take it personal. Amen. 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 All the stuff that we're reading about, whether you accept it, like it, believe it or not, he did it Amen. for me. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yeah, so we are special to him. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. The 32 years that he lived, or how long, 32, 33 years, or some people got to count off or whatever it was, but he died a young man. Mm -hmm. huh? He gave a sacrifice as a young man in his prime, mm -hmm. 32, 33, or whatever it was, uh, but he died for me. Right. Yeah. Not only did he die for me, he rode for me. Amen. Yes, and then I, I think about the, the, the disciples here as we get into our lesson. It said, after these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also mm -hmm. and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place where himself would come. Meaning that he would, he would uh, marinate the people. Y'all know how you marinate the meat? So you do that the night before, you let it set it zip up there, or you let it set it in the bowl, or whatever sauce you want it in, yeah. so that flavor can get in there. And so he sent these people out as forerunners, as, as sort of like what John the Baptist was doing. He was the forerunner to Christ. Christ hadn't came yet, but he was the forerunner to Christ um, to get the people prepared um, for, 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 what is, for what was to be. Uh -huh. uh, then he said, therefore he said to them, the harvest truly is great, but the labors are fruit. Pray ye therefore that the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth labors into the harvest. And he said, go your way. Behold, I send you forth as lamb among the wolves. Mm -hmm. You ever thought about it? He was sending them out with his message that was counteractive to the Jewish belief structure. Right. And they won't gonna believe it. They won't gonna accept it. Some, you know, some don't wanna kill them all. Some don't wanna just just make them like they were crazy, just like they do us sometimes. You know, why y'all keep going out there at that church with all that foolishness? Why y'all pay all the money? Why y'all do this and why y'all do that? But then again, I'm asking, why are you concerned about it? Mm -hmm. You don't believe it. You ain't coming. Why are you concerned what I'm doing? Cause you think I'm getting something you can't get. <laughs> But 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 you can get it. Amen. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is come and see. Yeah. What the word said, taste and see mm -hmm. that the God that the Lord is good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But then he says here, he says, go your way, and behold, I send you forth as lambs among the wolves. Curry, y'all listen to this. I, I think I brought this out the last time I taught it. Uh, Curry neither purse nor strip nor shoes, nor uh, salute, no man. And salute no man. By the way, what salute man? Hey, how you doing? Greet, greet. Be about your father's business. That's all he's saying. Not only be about your father's business, but I want you to go with with nothing. Don't take nothing extra. God is going to take care of you. Yeah, huh? yeah. We put our trust in ourselves. Huh? I make sure my gas tank is at least. Had a fool before I come out here just in case. Mm -hmm. I, you know, every now and then I check the spare tire, match it, make sure it's, it's still up. Why? Because I'm putting my trust in it. Because mm -hmm. when it breaks down, I'm going to need it, right? Mm -hmm. But they couldn't do that. Think about it. He's going to send them what they ain't want. To do what? To tell them about their master, mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's going to come. Mm -hmm. Y'all going to get ready. And so we live in a time to where everything is focused on who's ever in position and what they want. Mm -hmm. huh? And everybody's in a position. Whether you recognize it or not, you're in a position. You're in a position in your house. You're in a position in the community. You're in a position in the church. You are in a position. There's somebody looking to you for something. Always. 
Mm -hmm. Now everybody, you are in a position. A baby is in a position. Think about it. He born, she or he, she born, and they can't do nothing. When they wet themselves and they sew the clothes, somebody got to go and take care, take care of them, right? Mm -hmm. And he calls for, she calls for them, right? When they wet themselves, they call for you. Get in here. Change me. Can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think they're hollering for? Something going on and it burn them or whatever. Something happening. They want it. When they get hungry, they can't tell you they're hungry. But they know that something ain't working right right there. I don't want to stop. And you wait too long before you get to them, they be fussing. Yeah, they be fussing at you. So so we have to we have to recognize that the disciples and the seven that was put into a peculiar, peculiar situation here. Just like we are put in a peculiar situation when we are supposed to stand for God, um, even in the midst of, of turmoil and trials and tribulation, we still are supposed to stand for God. Huh? Even when folks is, is putting you down, talking about you, doing things that trip you up, we still are supposed to stand Amen. for God. Huh? Yeah, that's right. yeah we're supposed to stand for God. And we can't get too close to each other because some, sometime or another, we're going to have to correct one another, right? Yeah, man. That's just the way it is. I love my mama, but every now and then she, had, she still had to correct me. Mm -hmm. huh? My dad the same way. My friends sometimes, the, the friends had to correct me. Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> I don't need to get mad. Just quit talking to them like that. Mm -hmm. you know? But we, 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 we have to realize that we're in a peculiar situation. Every day that we live, and we still got to stand for Christ. Mm -hmm. Right. We got to stand for Christ. Mm -hmm. Why? Because He's standing for you every day. Uh -huh. Every day you're in the world, He's standing for you. Amen. 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 Then He says here, uh, no, fifth verse it says, and into whatso and into whatsoever house ye enter, first say, Peace be to this house. So, we got to know how to deal with one another, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Huh? When we go in each other's house and we come to church, we got to know how. We got to, We can't go in here heavy handed. I don't care if it's something he is up under your tongue. You you just waiting to see me. You can't come in heavy handed with it. Because when you come in heavy handed, I see, oh yeah, something wrong with them. <laughs> so I'm prepared. Already. You can shut the door in your face or the voice. <laughs> So, so when, you, when you're dealing with folks out on the street, you're dealing with folks and you're trying to minister to them, um, you say, well, I ain't no disciple. Yes, you will. Yes, yes you are. Mm -hmm. You are a disciple of Christ. Mm -hmm. You must uh, give God word. You might not be a preacher. You might not be a evangelist. You might not be a, a, a teacher. You might not be a Sunday school teacher. You might not be a deacon or usher or whatever it is. But you are a disciple of Christ. Amen. And it's going to come a time where you're going to have to figure out how to minister to people. Mm -hmm. huh? oh, yeah. You're going to have to figure out how to reach somebody. Not, not just your children. It could be your spouse. It could be your brother, your sister. Mm -hmm. It could be the drunkard on the side of the road. You're going to have to learn how to minister to them. Oh, yeah. and, and you can't be right. heavy handed with them. You just don't throw them. What the word says, but I don't know. You're going to hell. You can't talk to folks like that. Yes. You, you, you got to know how to, to navigate God's word. Yes. It's a way to say and do everything. Yes. Uh, but you got to figure out that way right. to do. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Then it said, and if the son of peace be there, your peace shall rest upon you. If not, it shall turn to you again. Mm -hmm. It was a custom to that, that that when you back in the day and everything, even when I was growing up, it was a custom that when you had guests, you'd be hospitable to them. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that that you do all you go out of the way to make them comfortable. Especially mm -hmm. if they're gonna stay at your house mm -hmm. and make sure that you are hospitable, uh, that you are nice to them. You don't want them to feel uncomfortable. I ain't never coming here no more. <laughs> <laughs> 
in the same way it is when you at church. You want to be hospitable to everybody. Mm -hmm. You want them to be at home. You want to go out your way. You got to come out your position sometimes. Mm -hmm. To make sure everything is running right, make sure everything is fine, uh, simply because somebody is reading you and they and how you treat them when they come here or when they come to your house or when they're around you or you know your job, how you treat each other is how they're going to broadcast who you are. Mm -hmm. uh, if you treat them bad, if you've got a lot of tricks about you, mm -hmm. uh, you, you got a nasty mouth with them, you sure will. little, they gonna remember that. Mm -hmm. If they don't remember nothing, then you could have fed them steaks, steaks, gave them honey water. <laughs> they gonna remember that time you were short, boy. Uh -huh. That's the way human eyes are. We are human beings. We remember the bad stuff quicker than we remember the good stuff. Mm -hmm. In your childhood, that's the first thing you remember, the stuff that's bad. Some stuff you can't even remember. But you remember the bad stuff. Mm -hmm. You remember when you had a hard time, when yeah. somebody treated you wrong. But how many how many y'all remember every time somebody treated you right? We ain't pay that no mind. <laughs> Cause that's what they supposed to do. No. <laughs> that what it is what they supposed to do, but but we don't remember all of those times that people were good to us. Right. Um, so it says if there, if there be peace there, then your peace shall rest, rest, uh, rest upon it. And then it says, and in the same house remain. Don't go from house to house. He said, eating, y'all listen to this, eating and drinking such things as they give. Don't come in because they got something you don't eat. Eat it. Because they gave it to you. Mm -hmm. huh? If it's something to make you sick, just tell them to make you sick. Make you sick. I don't need that, you know. Uh, but don't don't make them feel offended uh, by you turning your nose up mm -hmm. at what they have on their table. Mm -hmm. I know I had your cousin, we used to go by that play, and uh, they were always fixed, man, man, I can't even see. Sloppy joke. <laughs> That's what it was, sloppy joke. It would make me sick. I, I, I couldn't stand the smell of it. I sat there and I'd be messing with it. <laughs> and they'd be just eating, you know, and I'd be just messing with it. And I'd be waiting till they about time to go. And then I said, let's go outside and play, you know, and I'm trying to get away from it. But they sat there and I sat down. They set me a table, they set me a plate. My mom did the same thing for them. Uh, it's not all the time that they like what they had, but you don't want them to feel uh, uh, offended. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we turn our nose up at certain things, people get offended. And sometimes, uh, uh, if we don't eat, eat it, then we just eat, eat part that we like. <laughs> but move on. It's a way to do it. You want to bring peace in your house. Uh, you want to bring peace in your house. You, there are some things, or peace in somebody else's house, there are some things that you just got to, you got, you just got to uh, take it and put up with it. Yeah, you just got to take it and put up with it. There were certain things, um, I ain't going to say that. Um, there were certain things that we didn't like to eat growing up. And when we got married, there were certain things my wife didn't like to eat. And there were certain things I didn't like to eat. And, but we just put up with it because the other one had it. I, I put it like that. <laughs> yeah, there were just certain things. There were certain things. Certain ways that she liked to cook, certain ways I like to cook, and, and vice versa. And, and we just put up with it uh, the same way because we were trying to bring peace. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, they don't even look at me like that. They don't even look at me. That's right. He said, And whatever city ye in, and they receive you, eat such things that are set before you. You see that? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then he said, Not only eat that they might be in, at peace. See, you, you got to get people ready for the for the word. You know, it ain't no need to keep preaching to folk when they real hungry. Oh, they ain't had no nourishment for a whole week. They ain't ate nothing all week, and you just want to give them the word. No, you feed them a little bit. Come on, huh? You feed them a little bit, and then their stomach will get kind of right, and then you can talk to them. They don't need to bring in a homeless person, and then you want to give them God. 
You got to clean them up first. Amen. Then set them down at the table. Then why, when it's all over with, then you'll throw a word or two in there. Come on back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's how you win them. Amen. Yeah, that's how you win them. Amen. But uh, then it says here, uh, Heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of God is not you. But into whatever city ye enter, and they receive you not. Go your way out into the streets of the same and say, even the very dust of your city, which cleaned on us, we do wipe off against you. Not withholding, notwithstanding, be ye sure of this, that the kingdom of God has come nigh you. It's come nigh unto you. So he, they, he let them know um, when, you, when you're not being received, it's time to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Huh? You ain't got to badger nobody. You ain't got to fuss with nobody. Uh, for those that just came in, we had Luke, Luke 10. Luke 10, chapter 10. You ain't got to. I see people, I used to see people on the job badger folks all the time about, about the Bible or about Christ or about how they eat, about what they eat. It's a, it's a way to do it. But if I tell you I like pork, leave me alone. Because if you keep pushing me, I might say something bad to you. <laughs> yeah. So you ain't got to keep on and on and on. You see the, 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 the drunkard out there and, and, and they drinking their wine, you know, you can, you can throw some words out there to them to try to encourage them. Um, to try to help them through whatever they're going through. Um, but don't badger them all the time. Because after a while, they're going to give you some words you don't want to hear. They might tell you some stuff they've seen you do. Y'all don't get quiet. Right. <laughs> Y'all don't get quiet. Okay, then it says uh, in, verse, uh, in verse 12, it says, But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable in that day for Solomon, for Solomon than for that city. Woe unto the Corsans, woe unto the Bethesda, for, it is, for the mighty works have been done in Tyre and Sidon, which have been done in you. They had a great while ago repenting, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment then for you. And thou Cap uh, Capernaum, which are exalted into heaven, shall be thrust down into hell. So so they 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 going through something. Why? Because they rejected mm -hmm. they rejected Jesus. Now I'm gonna say this. I know a lot of folks are gonna get up, gonna get upset about that. You got loved ones that reject Christ. Mm -hmm. They gonna have to go through some stuff. Amen. Why? They don't have Christ in their life. And if they die outside of Christ, they're not going to heaven. They got to have Christ in their life. Amen. I know some of you don't want to accept it, don't like it, but if I die outside of Christ and I don't have no Jesus in my life and I reject Christ and all I do and how I live, I'm going to heaven. <laughs> it's just as simple as that. I could be fooling y'all now. Amen. But I'm going I'm I'm to hit hell. Why? <laughs> but you can't fool him. Can't fool God. You did that lesson yeah. for Sunday morning. Yeah. You can't fool Christ. Christ knows who you are. Yeah. Huh? Okay. You're a seal with God's spirit. You don't have God's spirit. He knows it. He knows he don't, you don't have. You might have some type of gift that where you can sing and folks think you're very talented. And they think you are anointed. You might speak in unknown tongues. You might be, quote the scriptures and preach the wall, mm -hmm. preach the paint off the wall. But if you don't really have Christ in your life and you don't acknowledge Christ in the part of your sin, you just you just wasting your time. All you're doing is fooling folks. Amen. Uh, Amen. You're fooling folks. You, you know, most of us have been in relationships or had relationships to where folks will tell you, I love you, I love you. I love you, but that action shows something else different. Amen. Your action speaks louder than words. Amen. It's best not even tell you I love you if I ain't going to treat you right. Because that's telling me, when, when I don't treat you right, that's telling you that I don't love you. Uh, yeah, that's what it's saying. So if you love Jesus, right. then you know how to love his people. Amen. Now, I don't care what they're doing. 
they be out there, all of them, them little rocky lives, <laughs> slipping and sliding, back and forth. <laughs> now, but the word said Jesus is married to the backslider. Mm -hmm. So if he married to the backslider, the backslider meaning he's doing the backslide, right? right. Mm -hmm. He's going back in the word, come back in, go back in the word, come back. We like that too. That's why we have to continue to repent. Then he said, well, I have to copy it. Y'all know how it is. Verse 16. 16. Read that word. He that feareth you, heareth me. And he that despises you, despises me. And he that despises me, despises him that sent me. Now, don't worry about folk when they talk nasty to you. They don't like you. Never like you. They don't like the way you talk. Don't like the way you sound. Don't like the way you look. Don't like the way you walk. Don't worry about them. If God has given you something to do, you do it to the best of your ability. Everybody ain't going to like you. It's just the way it is. I got some folks don't like me because I'm light-skinned. They call me yellow. Call me red. <laughs> they don't like it because I ain't dark enough. Or they don't like the way my voice is. Or they don't like, I don't like the way my voice is either. They come and go sometimes. I don't know everything. I don't pronounce words right sometimes. I have a, a strange dialect sometimes. So, but 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 don't worry about folks not liking you. Come on. I have a problem with that growing up. If you didn't like me, you might as well just get on because I'm gonna confront you. Mm -hmm. And God had to work on me with that. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, that likability stuff. Because if I didn't like you, I'm gonna ram you. I ain't gonna nothing to do with you. And if you like me and you just stabbing me in the back, and you keep stabbing me in the back, I'm gonna confront you and tell you about yourself. And, and I, I, I can care less if you live or die. That ain't no Christian way to be. God had to deal with me on that when I, when I retained salvation. Right. And when, especially when he called me to preach. And especially when he called me to pastor. I can't treat the people like that. Yeah. <laughs> can't walk around with a word of attitude. <laughs> yeah, but I would like that. That's the way I was. And I had to fight against it now. When I heard folks say, such and such said this, what? What is it? <laughs> yeah, but that's the way I was. I was confrontational. Some of y'all may not have not been confrontational, but I was. You did the fight or that. You know, it's the way it was. Um, but I won't gonna let you get away with nothing. Then I had to think about it. God told me one day. Think of all the devil meant you done. Mm -hmm. And somebody gave you a pass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> somebody gave, gave me a pass. I don't know who that was for, but it was for somebody. I don't know. That was extra. <laughs> What's the next word? The seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Uh -huh. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall, fall from heaven. See, see, Jesus was here before Mary had it. He was in existence. He won't like we, we we don't know whether we was in existence or not. But Jesus was in existence. He saw, he says it here. That he saw Satan fall. Mm -hmm. Like lightning from heaven. Mm -hmm. So he knew more and he know more than we will ever know. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna hit you with this. I've hit you with this before. The devil knows more than what we know. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yes, he does. He knows more. He was here before we were. That's right. He was here. Mm -hmm. so, so we have to acknowledge that he was in existence. But even before he was cast down, he was in existence. Mm -hmm. He know more. He know what we like. He studies us. He ain't all one studies us. There's a, there's a bunch of fallen angels that studies us. They think about our thought patterns. They, 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 they watch us. Just like we study each other. They watch us. Just like a teacher watches their students. A teacher has to find out how to teach their students. Every class, every student is different. They learn different. Right. And so a good teacher has to figure out how to interact with a student and get them to learn to the level to where they can make their grade. Yeah. Amen. What else we What else we do? Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means 
Who we talking to? Who we talking to then? The seven and his disciples. Well, all wrong, right? No. I know twelve at the moment. So sometimes we be wrong too, and we have to give each other passes. We got to let stuff go. Because Christ is working in our lives to get us to a certain point. Maybe we ain't there yet. I know I'm not there yet. You know? So he, he works on us to get us to a certain point that we can be used. That's a miracle. That's the miracle that he's seen. Like I said, sit and think about the foolish stuff that you done done today. Don't think I'll be back there. <laughs> think about the foolish stuff you've done today that you know won't quite right. Or maybe you even just sit and thought about foolish stuff all day. Right. Or, or maybe you sit and watch foolish stuff all day. Mm -hmm. On the internet. Huh? Mm -hmm. Just think about it. But God gave you a pay. Yes, he did. Why? Because he's working with you. That's right. Amen. He's working with you. Right. So, so, so how, dare, how dare we get to the point mm -hmm. that we can't give each other passes? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. <laughs> I was just going to say it's grace. I think as I think God gives us grace, mm -hmm. and sometimes we need to give each other grace. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, we need to give each other grace. All the time. Right. I remember. I remember. Um, sometimes I would do stuff, and, and and my mom and my daddy said, "So yeah, you remember the other day? This was before the other day too." <laughs> he thought I didn't see you, but I saw you. So I'm whooping you for the day and the other. <laughs> That grace had run out. <laughs> but I didn't even know they were giving me grace. I thought I had got away with some stuff. <laughs> yeah. But soon as somebody do something, we don't give them no grace. We won't give them a black eye. <laughs> That's right. We want to shut them down. We got to give We got to give some mercy and have some grace. That's the only way people are going to know Christ is in your life. Amen. You know, if you always beat them down uh, with your mouth or with your hands or whatever it is, you always on them. And watching them like a hawk, you know what goes around comes around. Whatever you sow to the flesh, you're gonna reap in the flesh. Amen. So however you treat me, so I might see somebody finna treat you and mistreat you and do you bad. I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna out of corner my eye, watch, see how it come out. No, that ain't the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, it ain't supposed to be like that. We got to watch out for one another. Try to help one another. At least tell somebody something coming. Let them know. You know, they might reject and say, no, nah, you lying, whatever. At least you don't walk away and say, well, I tried to help. Yeah. Where we stop? Notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Rejoice because you know where you're going. These people out in the world don't know where they're going. They think this is it. And so they think this is it. They don't understand what's to come. And so that's why they get they, they get so downhearted. You know, when the stock market crash, you have folks that kill themselves. All their joy, all their, their hope and inspiration was in that stock market. And when they lose all their money, they don't have an understanding that God can give it back. All they know is they lost everything. They lost their home. They lost everything. Most folk, folks don't lost so much in their life. They just say, well, I just know I just work all the way. <laughs> I just do it another day. They take one day at a time. But some people don't live like that. They don't know. Because they don't have no God on their side. Mm -hmm. the, the money is their God. The, the, the world is their God. Mm -hmm. And so they don't understand uh, what Christ has given us, nor do they see the miracles that Christ does, does in our lives. Mm -hmm. It says in that in that in that hour, Jesus re uh, rejoiced in the Spirit mm -hmm. and said, "I thank thee, Father, O Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and the prudent, and has revealed to, to uh, revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father." For so it seemed good in thy sight. Mm -hmm. What has the father hidden from the wife? His power. 
is power. You know, we take the miracle of fishing and the loaves of bread, and we forget that there was 5,000 in one place and 4,000 in another place that he fed. Like, mm -hmm. How he stretched that. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. When you have faith in, in, in God, it's hard for the devil to crush you. He sets you up. But when you have faith in God, you know that God will give it back in another way. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's hard for, for you to lose your hope when you have faith in God, the right. Father, mm -hmm. or in Jesus, the Christ, mm -hmm. simply because you know he's going to work another miracle for mm -hmm. you. Amen. He'll work it. Amen. No matter what's going on, no matter what the doctor done told you, no matter how all your money done got up in the bank, no matter the economy, no matter who the president is, no matter, no matter what's going on in the world, no matter whether the war come or not, God has a place for his people. Amen. Amen. And if you if you get close to him, he'll tell you when to move, when to hide, when to shut up, when to talk. Right. Mm -hmm. But you got to get close to him. Amen. Because he'll speak to you just like he has spoke to me. And I, did, I heard it, but I didn't hear it. And I moved, I was sore. I didn't move when he said move, so I missed some stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So he's hidden it from a lot of folks can't see it. See, the songwriter says, send it up my temple. Mm -hmm. They think they we're talking about wood. Mm -hmm. So, so, so God can build you a, a palace somewhere. No, 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 it's already here. Setting up your temple is living good for God. Living right, treating people right with love. Working for God is setting up your temple. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he sees you. God would never owe you anything. He Amen. sees you. God is a provider. He gives yeah. it to you. Yes, he yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we thankful, so that's why we live according to his will and according to his purpose. Amen. We live according to his word Amen. simply because we know he provides for that's us. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, he know that Jesus uh, praised God and rejoiced in the spirit simply because he know that God is opening up people's minds Homes. He revealing the, 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 the secret of holiness of, of, of his word and, and to his people, to simple people, not, not priests. Won't none of these priests right, that's right. that was already in the formed church. Mm -hmm. These were street folks that Jesus went and got mm -hmm. from many different careers. Mm -hmm. That you and I. Mm -hmm. Huh? The priests, most priests. Was, was was taken in as a little child. They was in the abbey. They was taught how to serve the church. Mm -hmm. But not these folks. These folks were lawyers, doctors, uh, accountants, or, mm -hmm. or, or tax collectors. These folks were fishermen. These were common folks. And so Jesus rejoicing because he know God get ready to do a work in their life. Amen. Yeah, he's he going to do a work in their life. My Mm -hmm. He says, all things are delivered me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is but the Father, and who the Father is but the Son, mm -hmm. and he whom the Son will reveal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was already revealing to him when he told him, going to that town, and they saw some stuff, they heard some stuff, and they came back with joy. That's what the word just said. Mm -hmm. They came back with joy, a good report. And, and so, so Jesus knew that the Father had revealed that, that, that he can work through common folks, as we call common folks. Mm -hmm. Folks of low degree, folks of medium degree, folks of high degree. He can work through whomever he want to work through. Amen. And then he said, he turned to his disciples. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. And he said, proud. He didn't say it to everybody. Mm -hmm. He said it to his disciples. He said, "Proud, blessed are the eyes which see the things that you see." Mm -hmm. Do y'all see? My wife preached a sermon a couple of weeks ago. I don't care how she had. Do you see what I see, or you don't see what I see? Mm -hmm. um, do y'all realize that when you see the movement of God, that's a blessing? Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all know why people get depressed and kill themselves? They have they had to take antidepressants mm -hmm. so that they can so that they don't be depressed. All all of us ain't up being depressed. Amen. But when you get to the point where you have to take medicine to come up to keep you from being depressed, because after a while it becomes to to affect you uh, physically and and mentally, your depression can cause things that happen to your body. And but when you can see the move of God in somebody else's life, and you can see the move of God in your own life, and you know his presence is with you, it gives you some courage to see another day. Amen. This is why Jesus was happy. Amen. This is why Jesus was talking to his disciples. I want y'all to look now. Y'all pray. I want y'all to look. Look out there at the old church. And I want you to see the move of God. You can't see it if your you can't see the miracle if your mind is on what I'm doing. Because God called me before, before uh, I had really given my life to him. I was out there smoking, <laughs> drinking, chasing the women. Mm -hmm. We're doing that like y'all are looking at me funny. Y'all was doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Won't nobody write from her. You might have been more than good or better than I was, but you won't hold it. Come on now. <laughs> we all got to pay. We all got to pay. But you think you came up here by yourself. No, no, no. God called you from the word. Amen. God spoke in your spirit to get, to get right. And he spoke in your spirit and he started opening up doors for you. He started opening up your eyes. That's when the blinded eyes can see. That's when the deaf ears get open so they can hear. That's when you 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 start receiving new revelation to a new life, a new walk with God. Or else you still doing what you used to do. Amen. And that's what some folks is doing. God is still working with him. God is still working with her. I look at sometimes I look at my loved ones and I be like, man, what in the world is going on? Then God had to remind me of how I am. <laughs> yeah. Amen. He had to remind me that I'm Amen. a work in progress. Amen. And as long as I'm living and as long as I'm breathing, I'm still a work in progress. Amen. But once I hit that grave, that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been done. It's been done. Whatever it's done, it is what it is then. It, it ain't gonna get it ain't gonna get done. Amen. It ain't gonna get done. So that's why Jesus was 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 thankful for them. Yeah. And that's why it's so so uh, quenchal or, 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 or needed for you to see the miracles that God has done in your life. Just sit and think sometimes. Don't think about the bad time. Everybody going to have some bad days. The Bible don't say you ain't going to have no bad days. That's right. Huh? It don't say things ain't going to happen to you. <laughs> I know some folks got it, got it all twisted up that if, if bad things are happening to you, you ain't living right. I'm here to tell you tonight, if ain't no bad stuff happening to you, you ain't living right. You ain't living right. Because such as they persecuted Christ, they're going to persecute you. And the devil is sure going to pop up things in your life. So just because things are going right, that's because the devil already got you. Going right for you and everything, you ain't never been sick, you ain't never had no bad day. That's because you ain't doing right. <laughs> you start doing right and see them things start creeping up on them. Yes. Wow. Amen. Any questions or comments at this time? Well, God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Let us all stand. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this night. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, for your revelation of tonight. Now, Father, as we leave this place, we know it's raining outside, Lord, and it's dark and dreary. So, Father, we ask, Lord, that your spirit will go with us and lead and guide us, Lord, till we make our very, best, very uh, destination safely, Lord, yeah, that's so in the name of Jesus. Jesus. If there be anybody that's sick, Lord, that is at home, Lord, or in the hospital room, Lord, we ask, Lord, that you visit them right now mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we hold up. We hold up all of those, Lord, that may have lost loved ones on tonight. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. 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 God bless you.